This is Fisher Towers in southeastern Utah, maybe about 20 miles or so upriver on the Colorado River from the town of Moab. Uh, Fisher Towers is an incredible landscape. It's been used in a lot of uh, movies, TV commercials, uh, other media locations. And it's a really incredible landscape of towers and hoodoos and fins of rock with a pretty interesting geologic story as well. Uh, these towers are all carved from a group of rocks called the Cutler Formation. And the Cutler Formation is rocks in, from the Permian period about 290 million years ago. And what's interesting about these rocks is the story they tell of the ancestral Rockies. So before the modern Rockies were uplifted about 50 to 70 million years ago, there was an older set of mountains in about the same place, maybe a little further west than the modern Rockies in Colorado. Uh, and these mountains were uplifted as a result of a plate colliding with the east coast. It was actually Africa. So as Africa collided with the east coast of North America, it buckled up the Appalachian Mountains back east, but that stress was also transmitted further inland and caused some uplifts thousands of miles away from the initial collision between the plates. So even over here in southwestern Colorado and into southeastern Utah, there was uplift. And this uplifted mountain range is what's known as the ancestral Rockies. And they were uplifted uh, during the Pennsylvanian period uh, about 310 or so million years ago. Uh, the color formation, though, records the erosion of those mountains. So as those mountains were pushed up along high angle normal faults, eventually the erosion of those mountains cut down to their very old old Precambrian rocks, uh, granites and gneisses, things like that. And the sediment shed off of those mountains uh, was preserved in uh, alluvial fans and, and river systems very close to the mountains as the Cutler Formation. The very top of the uh, fins here at Fisher Towers is a little cap rock of Moenkopi Formation, which is Triassic in age, a little bit younger. Uh, and that was mainly deposited in tidal flats uh, along the along a uh, an ancient ocean. And then as we look further above that, there's a, a slope of Chinle formation, which was deposited in rivers. And then the final cap rock up there forming the cliffs is the Wingate sandstone, another Triassic sandstone uh, formed from windblown sand dunes. Um, so a pretty interesting uh, seen here. Erosion is the dominant force today, so you can see a lot of these things have been sculpted into these these towers, uh, these turrets of rock. There's some incredible like Dr. Seuss kind of shapes along the ridge line there. Uh, the more sand resistant layers form some of the ledges you see, and then the softer layers uh, are mainly mud rich deposits. And so we're actually going to walk, um, I want to show you a deposit of the Cutler Formation. So we're going to jump over here and walk up the trail a bit to where we can actually see some evidence that the Cutler Formation was deposited in uh, river systems that were draining very close from the uh, ancestral Rockies. So as we kind of look over here, most of what you're seeing is sandstones, but you can see some little scoured areas there, those little kind of uh, concave lines in the rock indicates that there was uh, some scouring as the rivers were cutting down. But there's a nice little outcrop up here of some of the gravel deposits. So here you can actually see uh, the channel bed of one of these stream systems that was draining off of the ancestral Rockies. So there's rounded cobbles in here of metamorphic rocks, quartzite, uh, looks like there's some granitic material in here as well. These were all shed off those ancestral Rockies um, during the uh, uplift and then erosion uh, of those ancestral Rockies about during the Permian period, about 290 or so million years ago. So really interesting rocks, the Cutler Formation here at Fisher Towers.